Era was founded in 2018 uh, by Sarah and I. Uh, it was at the time I was doing a lot of driver coaching with vintage race cars, and I was being asked to drive more and more cars. And there was more and more cars that I wasn't happy to get into from a safety standpoint. And when I mentioned this to one of my customers, his reply was, "Well, maybe you should look at setting up your own prep shop." So we did. Our first two events at Daytona were kind of almost like a fairy tale type event we third place the first year and we won it the second year obviously with uh, Paul Lou, Chatan, myself, Randy L and Dwight Merriman. Like having the win that year kind of made it that much more sweet because we've been putting in so many long hours and so much time um, but it just gives you that drive to come back and be more prepared the next next season so you want the best chance possible at that win and we've been hungry ever since then. This year, we're really putting an emphasis on um, having the team like be that like professional level prepared, I guess. Um, we're a professional team. We do everything in-house. We've brought all of our, our gearbox um, maintenance in-house, we have carbon work in-house. Everything that we're allowed to uh, modify or, or maintain on the car, we do it all in the same building. Roar went all right, uh, no major issues. We already had a plan. This year, I think, was the smoothest roar week, the smoothest prep for the race, the smoothest race week um, I've ever had. Now this is qualifying, so this counts. The 61st running of the Rolex 24 hours next Saturday and Sunday, which you can see. Uh, Daytona, it being a long event, the starting position wasn't really critical to us. You know, we knew that, you know, where we were, um, we've done very well in the past strategy-wise. We knew we would make up some time. This will be the start of our fourth season running the P2. I think the goal is just to do the best job we can. Um, have one of the fastest, best looking and safest race cars out there. The start of the race is always, no matter how many times I've done it, there's always that like pre-race jitter, you know, the excitement, you see all the fans there, the national anthem's going off and you're like, here you go, like 24 hours on track and you're just trying to think like, have we thought of everything? Is there anything we're missing? Like, and then uh, as soon as the green flag falls, it's business as usual, you're right into 
right into running the car, watching the, the data, making sure everything's going to plan. You know, Daytona went really well, and we were actually leading. It was a little bit of a mix-up there. We took the penalty, which set us back a little bit. And laps were coming back to us and coming back to us, and everything was ticking along nicely. We made up the time and we were doing really well. Um, everybody was pretty confident that we had the pace, that we had the car. We were trying to get through uh, a lot of our double stint tires to get to where we could push and fight for the win at the end. Um, and we had just finished all of our double stint tires and getting ready to push and uh, Andrew, our systems engineer, uh, saw in the data that you know we had a spike in oil pressure and our oil level dropped and uh, we knew we had a problem. You just get a sinking feeling in, in your stomach, you know, you're like, here we go, here's an issue. Like, are we gonna be able to stay out or are we gonna have to come in? That's the first thought. And uh, for a couple of laps, like, all right, this is just something to monitor. I think we're gonna be all right. And then suddenly there was a big change in the data. And it was like, we're gonna have to box them or this, is, this has the potential to scatter. We sent the car back to the garage. Uh, we had the detects the engine cover off and it was there was oil everywhere and at that point you're uh, you're pretty disappointed uh, really is the only way to, to word it um, like there's there's that feeling you know you want to finish the race you want to continue 
at that point, we know what it is. There, there's no coming back from that. And that was our, uh, our second DNF in two years at Daytona through something that ultimately we have no control over. Pretty tough to take. I think everybody on the team was gutted and um, the only positive, it gives us even more uh, desire to come back and bounce back bigger, better and stronger for Sebring. Everybody there did their job flawlessly. Uh, there wasn't a thing I would change from the race prep, the, the pit stops, the strategy. I mean, everything was there to, uh, to be battling for the win at the end. And uh, the guys deserve more. But uh, I'm super proud of everybody and we'll move on to Sebring and uh, hope for the best there.